never put your life on hold for a man you have to be an individual even if you're in a relationship you are good enough i've got to make plans based on where i'm at and not on the imagination of where i could be stop postponing your happiness hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well this is day two of back to basics for my revenge series so if you haven't watched day one make sure you guys check it out i was talking about never pursuing a man but in today's video we are going to be talking about not putting your life on hold for a man a relationship a person anything do not put your life on hold for a man and by the way before i get into it if you're feeling the vibe make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family let's level up and let's heal this year and beyond so where did this conversation come from? Let me tell you a little bit about me. <laughs> As you guys know, I was in a two-year relationship and I always had the idea of how my life was going to go in the relationship aspect. So I lived at home with my mum, obviously. I always believed that I was going to get married, move out into my marital home with my husband and start my life that way that's what i believe that's what i thought was gonna happen and so i just lived like that i had the financial security to leave my mom's house a very long time ago let's be honest i could have got a place a very long time ago including when i got in a relationship with this person so i had this idea this dream that i wasn't going to get an apartment even though i had dreams of living in an apartment by myself but i always thought let's make smart moves let's not get an apartment if you can buy a house but i said to myself okay do you know what i'm not going to do that i'm going to stay put at home even though my space was crowded even though i felt uncomfortable even though i felt creatively contained i'm going to put that dream aside so i can pursue this with this person because we spoke about marriage we spoke about getting engaged getting a place blah 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 so i'm thinking okay this is gonna happen all before i'm 30 of course because we all like to use 30 as the gauge and so towards the end of relationship, my relationship with my ex i started to feel as much as we were talking about getting married and all these kind of things i just knew in my heart that it was never gonna happen like i don't know I, I just felt it i didn't feel he wasn't giving me any certainty he wasn't giving me any hope i felt like we were taking 10 steps forward 20 steps back and it was constantly like that so i was like you know what actually I'm gonna go and look for places because i'm not gonna sit here and hold on to empty promises and put my life on hold i'm in a great position i'm in a great financial position everything's going well for me the only thing that is annoying me right now is i don't have the space to create i don't have the space to be free i don't have the independence i really needed and i'm gonna look for a place so i started looking for a place whilst i was in a relationship i was actually looking to look i wasn't deadly serious but i set my eyes in this apartment and i, I really wanted it so i moved out so that had me thinking that okay what if i didn't move out and the relationship ended i know i can still look for an apartment but i just feel like there's a lot of people twofold they're in relationships and they have their dreams on hold maybe you're supposed to have gone to university maybe you want to get a degree maybe you want to travel more but then now you're in a relationship and you feel like you can't do those things or at least do those things alone and the second thing is those of you who aren't in relationships and feel like i can't do xyz until i get in a relationship i can't do xyz until i get married i can't buy a house i cannot travel i cannot do this until I am in a relationship until I'm married. And I'm here today to burst that bubble and to burst that lie and to say, you have to take control of your own life because why? Nobody is coming to save you. And I'll talk to those who are single, who are putting their life on hold for a relationship or for a guy, waiting for that person to come along first. I'll talk about that first. You are not a half waiting for your other half to appear. You are already whole. A man can only add to your happiness. He cannot make you what you are already he cannot make you happy he cannot make you this best life and i know on social media we have these couple goals we have youtube videos of couples moving in together fly 
flying over the world. We've got Instagram couples doing bits, we're starting businesses together and all that kind of stuff. And that's great that their story turned out that way. However, you cannot sit in a passive position and say, I'll do this when this happens, when I get this person. I can only do this and truly enjoy it or really be successful if I do it with someone else. You don't have to wait for nobody. You were literally born by yourself and you're going to die by yourself, okay? There's a lot, and I'll use this one for example. There's a lot of you guys who, you can actually buy a house right now. You can buy your own house right now. You have the money, you're financially secure, but you're saying, I don't wanna buy a house because obviously like if my husband has a house or I wanna buy a house together or blah, blah, blah. And I know it sounds great, it sounded great to me, but realistically, if you're single, how do you know when that person's gonna come along? And what's gonna happen is they may delay or you may settle or force a bad relationship because you got your hopes and your dreams, like this is what I wanna happen. And because that person hasn't, come yet you're gonna feel crushed you're gonna feel resentful who are you gonna be resentful at the person that hasn't even showed up yet the only person you're gonna resent and be upset with is yourself because you had the ability to do what you need to do but you refused to do it because you felt like you by yourself wasn't enough you felt that the plan that you had for your life was the plan that you need to stick with and i want to tell you that you can have your plans you can have many other plans in a man's heart the bible says oh it's the lord's purposes that will prevail you can have your plan you can have your five-year plan by the time i get to this age i want to be married with kids have my own house blah 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 it's great to set goals but in those setting goals you have to be flexible to change and you don't want to put your life on hold because you don't have someone the goal shouldn't be i'm gonna buy a house when i get married if you've got the money to buy a house buy that house and even if he has his own one you can move in with him and you can rent that house out and you can flip that house and make some more money like you've got to be thinking like that you can't be thinking with a limited mindset and i feel like a lot of you guys are thinking with limited mindset based on a picture and imagination that doesn't exist. The only thing that is real is what's real right now. The only thing that's real is what's real right now, what I can feel. This for me is real right now in this present moment. I don't know what's gonna happen in six months. I don't know what's gonna happen by the end of the year. I don't know. I can only live my life like I'm, if I'm single right now, this is what it is. I've gotta make plans based on where I'm at and not on the imagination of where I could be sometime in the near future. Because like I said, you're going to be upset. You're going to be disappointed when it doesn't happen fast enough. And the worst thing yet is that you make it desperate and try and force someone that isn't right for you to try and fit into the fantasy of your picture when all you had to do was be okay with yourself. Be like, actually, I can do this. Actually, I can travel by myself. I can go to this country. I can do that. I'm not gonna wait for a wedding. I'm gonna have a birthday party that looks like a wedding. I'm not gonna wait till I get to this dress size. I'm gonna wear the dress now. I'm not gonna wait until this. I'm gonna eat the cake right now. A lot of you guys just need to eat the bloody cake. Stop waiting. Stop postponing your happiness. Stop postponing your happiness. Stop postponing your happiness. You gotta be happy right now. You gotta do the thing that you want to do right now. Tomorrow's not promised. Five years is not promised. Next week is not promised. You gotta do the things that you want to do right now. God willing, everything will go to plan. God willing, you, it is the right time for you. I'm not talking to the people that may not be the right time. I'm talking to those who know it's the right time, but you're putting it on hold. Oh, I don't wanna go to university because I don't wanna have too many degrees because I don't want this guy to be intimidated by my degrees. F Kevin Samuels. Yes, I said it, F Kevin Samuels. One thing that I really wanna do is like re-edit that video that I put out because I was too nice on that guy. I don't even watch him anymore, by the way. That's an FYI, that's an update. The points that I made in that video are still relevant, but um, I don't watch him anymore because I feel like he's making women feel that they're not worthy and they're not enough until they get this, this situation until they drop a dress size until they da -da -da -da. you're almost shaming women for wanting to get a degree and to move their life forward i don't care if a guy doesn't care about my degree i'm not getting degrees for him i'm getting my, my degrees for myself and any healthy and whole man is gonna respect that oh my wife's a lawyer oh my wife is an influencer oh my wife is impacting women all over the world you want a man to be able to come into your life see what you're doing and let him brag on you like that's my girl any guy that's gonna be like i don't care about your job you don't want that that is not a guy that you want so all these guys that kevin samuels is like setting up for people like honestly you, you get in a relationship with them 
those high value men you ain't even gonna want them so live your life sis live your best life travel with your friends it's not the end of the world that you don't have a man there will come a time when you do vacation staycation but right now when you don't have anybody do it with the people that you have take your mom on a trip i'm sure she want to go on a trip do momcation do kidcation do friendcation ain't always gotta be about a man honestly and i feel like a lot of us we live our life with a man in focus we need a man even though we're not saying with our mouth that we need a man we're living like we need a man to succeed to go forward to conquer in this life you are enough you you battle by yourself girl you battle by yourself girl you are good enough you you got what it takes study that thing go and study it and so now i'll talk to those who are in relationships and they're putting their life on hold for that person girl don't be doing that i know women we feel like we're just making sacrifices we're supposed to be sacrificial we're supposed to compromise we're supposed to put our life on hold we're supposed to put our husband before ourselves is your husband putting you before you and me and my friend was actually watching a movie on netflix the other day and now if i find it i'll put it on the on the screen but you guys should definitely check that out because i feel like a lot of people are living that same life never put your life on hold for a man you have to be an individual even if you're in a relationship even if you're married you have to maintain your individuality my uncle and auntie have been married for 35 plus years 36 i think and i was asking them like some for some advice or whatever and they was like you need to have your separate lives and you also need to have the life together you are not going to be up under that guy 24 hours a day so now you need to think about what the hell you're going to do with your own life and let's say for instance god forbid you get married and you can't have kids straight away like maybe you have fertility issues you literally put your life on hold and now you're even more stressed because your one desire in life was to be a wife and a mother that's not happening the way that you intended it so what are you gonna do you're gonna lose your shit you're gonna get mad you're gonna get crazy you're gonna get depressed that's not god's will for your life you should never be obsessed with an idea you should never be obsessed with a person and you should never put a person above your need because contrary to popular belief women have purposes too a man has a purpose and a woman has a purpose too it's not just about the man's purpose and his dreams and what he wants to do and you play the position i mean that's what you want to do go ahead if that's your calling in life to support a man come like do that but two healthy people with two healthy lives coming together interdependence not independence you can have your independent life when you come together it's interdependence that's the best recipe for a great relationship when you guys aren't trying to take each other's tank take each other's aspirations take each other's goals you're actually very happy with your life because when you were single you were working on yourself you was getting your degree you was getting your job you was climbing up the corporate ladder you were starting a business if you want to start a business start a business don't put your life on hold because tomorrow is not guaranteed your life is not guaranteed to turn out the way that you intended it's going to turn out the way it's supposed to any desire that you have in your heart this is your message that you need it you don't need to wait for a man and you don't need to wait on your man you can be an individual even though you're in a relationship and you can be single and still be happy. Tell me I'm lying. You can be single and still be happy. You can be single and still be happy. Let them tell you. I want you guys to enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Stop putting it on hold. Stop thinking that the only time you can go on holiday, on vacation, is if you're in a relationship. It's great, but so is going out with your girls. Like, going on a date is great, but so is going out with your girls. You know? Mm. I hope that made sense. I hope you guys like understood where I'm coming from. You don't need to wait for a man to be happy. And I want you guys to find your happiness within yourself. Find your contentment in God. Understand that what he's planned and purposed for you is what you need to be focusing on now. You cannot focus on what you don't have. I can only use what I have now. And I do want a husband, but I can only use what I have now. And that is me. That's all I've got right now. So I can think about him. I can plan. I can want and desire a certain thing but when it comes down to it, i've got to work with the materials that i got and that's me so work with what you got ladies and don't put your life on hold for a man okay because you never know what's gonna happen even if you're in a relationship even if you're married god forbid you break up you get a divorce or whatever what are you gonna do with your life a man is not a backup plan have a plan for yourself right if you guys are feeling the vibes if this message is connecting with you make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and i'll see you tomorrow with another video Bye, guys.